Hello, my name is David and I'm going to be showing you how to use the Excel notes. Now just a little word about this, some of you may know these as comments. Comments is what they've been for years and Microsoft have just bought out a new feature and they've called this new feature comments which is like a threaded discussion that you're going to have within the spreadsheet. So what they've done is renamed the comments notes. So those of you with older systems will know this as comments and now with 365 it's called notes. So let's go straight in and have a look at this. So if you want to add a note to any cell you click onto the cell and I'm going to show you a few ways of doing this actually. The first way is to click into the cell, right click and then come down to new note and before we click that can you see that there's a new comment there that is the new feature so we need to click new note and that puts a red triangle in the corner and brings up like a post-it note here so here you can make whatever comment you want it might be about the cell itself or the numbers it might be an action or just for your users so here I might put something please so I've got please check this figure so this is like an action but when you click away from it it disappears and if you hover anywhere in that cell your little post-it note pops up again so that you can see it so that's one way of entering in let's go and show you the other way click onto a cell again come up to your review tab at the top and come over to where it says notes and click notes and new note and again we can type this here okay again when you click away it goes away so that's two methods the third method is the one that I prefer using so let's just go to another cell if you hold your shift down and press F2 that puts it in there so that's much much quicker we've typed a note in there when you click away it disappears so that's three ways and the way I like doing it is with shift and F2 if we want to edit any of these you click onto the cell that you want to edit and again there's various ways of doing this if you come up to the top on your review tab click notes and you've got an edit note here and that brings your notes back up so that you can edit it. You can also resize it while you're here. If you need some extra notes in there, you can resize it with these size handles. That's one way. The other way is to right click on the cell that's got the note in there, come down on your menu to edit note. And again, we can edit this note if we want to and resize the box if you want to okay and then the final way of editing is going onto the cell and if you hold shift and f2 so that's the same shortcut that brings it up so that you can edit it again okay so that's entering them in if we want to delete them let's put an extra one here shift f2 or just type some notes okay let's say we want to delete this one so again a couple of ways we can right click on here and come down to delete note and that deletes it I'll just undo that and put it back so the other way to do this is to come up to the top here and click delete right okay now there's a bit more we can do with these notes if you click on a note and click next note that will show you the note, come back up to the top, go next note and it will just take you through your notes one at a time. The other thing that you can do is come up to the top and click show all notes and that shows all your notes here and now they stay there permanently so we can actually move them if you're going to have it like this your arrow still points to the little triangle inside your cell but you can move your notes 
so that it looks a bit neater if you've got them on display. Now if we want to hide them again we come back up to notes and where it says show all notes this is a toggle button click that and it turns them off. Now we've moved those into position they don't stay in position when you hover over and they pop up. Those positions are only there if we come back up to notes and click show all notes those positions only stay there once you've got them showing all the time. Okay now the other thing that we can do with these is if you just click onto the note that you want to edit I'm going to hold shift and F2 down that puts it into edit mode now what we can do is right click on the note and click format comment and this gives you some formatting options but the one that I prefer to use is control 1 and that brings it up as well now here I can change the text the size and the font style but I can also change the color of the font okay but if you click the outside of this box and now hold control 1 you can not only do the font but you can actually change the colors so I might want this one to be a light green click OK and there it is light green I might want this one to be a different color so again click the outside control 1 and we get all the choices just to show you if I click inside and highlight some font and do control 1 that only gives me the font can you see it just says font there so if you click the outside of the box control 1 and now I can go and change the color of my post-it note so I might want a blue here and I can change the size of the text and the color of the text so if we just do this last one control 1 I'll have the color as a very dark red like a maroon color go to font and I'll have a white font and we make the font a bit bigger size 12 click OK and there we have now got our little colored coded notes on here again if we come up to notes and click show all notes they disappear but you can hover over and the colors and the font type stays there so that's quite neat now there's one other really good thing that you could do especially if you have notes that let's say are for action or information you can actually change the shape of these as well now the way to do this is to come up to your quick access toolbar at the top click the little arrow at the end and come down to more commands and you get this dialog box pop up and you want to change this popular commands to all commands and when you've got that you need to scroll down until you find edit shape here it is edit shape click that one and click add so it becomes one of your quick access toolbar options click OK and now you'll see the option now it's grayed out at the moment up there because we haven't got a shape selected so let's go into this one shift F2 puts us into edit mode click the outside of the box now you can see your edit shape so we can go and change our shape and pick whatever shape we want I've just changed it into a nice sort of diamond shape we might want to center our text inside that and you might decide that that's quite good for um, decision making maybe let's go and do another one click on this one shift F2 puts us into edit mode click the outside of the box let's go and change this shape come up to the top change shape and 
this time we'll perhaps have an oval. Again, I might center the text in there. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got a nice green diamond shape. Here we've got a nice blue oval shape. And we do it one more on this last one. Shift F2, click the outside, come up and change the shape. And let's pick another shape. And it adds um, either coded shapes in there for you or just makes it look a bit more professional. I hope you found that useful and interesting. I will be doing another video later on about the new comments, the threaded discussions. But this one, don't forget, it's comments on the older versions and notes on the new version. If you like this video, please click that like button underneath. And if you don't want to miss any more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.